What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do speed ramping in Premiere Pro. So this is probably the easiest way to do it in Premiere Pro and as you can tell from the video at the start that was all done in Premiere Pro and it turns out really nice. So first thing I recommend is putting your video bigger that is currently here. So come over to the side and simply enlarge it. Now right click your video, come to show clip keyframes, come to time remapping and select speed. Now this line right here is what we're going to be working with and we're going to be using some keyframes. So I'm going to zoom in and all you need to do is come across to the part where you want to uh, slow it down. So essentially when I say slow it down for me I'm going to keep it at the normal pace which is this. So I'm going to speed it up until here and what we're going to be doing is laying down a keyframe here. So you can either press control click here or you can just press this button. So it's added this and we're going to zoom in. And of course I want it to be the normal speed on this part. So everything before I want it to be fast. So I'm going to come to the line before this part and bring it up. Now you can see we're getting some percentages here. It's completely optional how fast you want this. It can go all the way up to a thousand. I'm just going to stay here because this part is very short. So if I play it through this is what we have as you can see just like that now right here I'm going to lay down another keyframe because I want it to speed back up so I'm going to come to the part on the right and I'm going to bring this back up to about 500 percent now if I play this from the beginning it's going to speed slow speed off again until we get to the next person which is coming here right here I'm going to lay down a keyframe and I'm going to bring this one down back to normal and the normal speed is 100%. If your video is recorded in 60 frames per second or above then you can use slow motion and I do recommend that and it won't look choppy. So now if I play this from the beginning, fast, slow, fast, slow. As you can see it's that simple. Now you'll also notice it's pretty harsh on the speed changes. So to make it smoother, zoom in and you'll notice we get these right here. Just bring it back. As you can see, it creates a fade. Same for the next part. We can bring it in to fade it in, I guess. And then for the next part where we go back to normal, we can fade it out. So what this does, it makes it a bit more smoother on the speed changes, as you can see just like that and of course you can always adjust it like here this part takes quite long I want that faster so I'm going to bring that up a lot more so now if I play this through as you can see just like that and then you just keep repeating this process so right here she's about to go off I'm going to lay down a keyframe I'm going to speed everything back up probably to a thousand percent I'm going to come across to the next part and right here the guy is. So I'm going to lay down a keyframe. I'm going to bring this all the way back down to 100%. Now I'm not going to go through the entire video because it will take a long time. But I'm pretty sure you get the idea of how to do this now. Once again I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to fade in the speed changes. So it's not a dramatic sudden change. And there we go. So I'm going to play this all through what I have just done. And this is what we've created. You can see it's super simple, but super effective as well. So take your time with this, um, but it's really quick to do anyway. But take your time, make sure you line everything up to where you want it to be. And as you can see, just like that, you're going to create a really nice effect.